Actually, I think he has two farms. Because so I was lagging when I got into this chunk, which makes me think there's probably entities. And there's also, you know, all these hoppers. Hey there guys, MCB here, and today we are going to be playing some Infernal Factions Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now, before I start, I just want to say I'm sorry that this video is a little late. It was supposed to come out 11 o'clock on uh, Monday, but it's probably going to come out at closer to 6 o'clock, which is like my, if I can't get it up early enough time, I always default to 6 o'clock EST. Um... But yeah, that's my schedule. 11 a.m. EST is when I'm trying to upload, and if I can't get it up by then, I do 6 uh, p.m. EST. Um, but yeah, sorry this is a little bit late. The main reason for that is because uh, it took me quite a while to find what we're going to be doing in this video, which is two raids, um, one of which I have no clue how good it is. It doesn't look like the best, but it's also definitely not the worst. And the other one... Uh, I don't have a clue, honestly. I, I don't even have a clue. I haven't, um, like, looked at it beforehand. Um, so, yeah. But the first one... Well, actually, let me check my homes. I want to go to the smaller one first. Or at least what I think is the smaller one. This the small one. Uh, so, let me get there one moment. Um, where did I put it? Oh, yeah, home... Hacker 1. I'm pretty sure that the guy that lives here is a hacker. Because I remember I was seeing him, and he was, like, moving around way too fast. Because I saw this guy above ground. Both of these were people that I saw above ground um, while I was just running around. And this guy was just, like, unless he had, like, speed 4 or something, pretty sure this guy's hacking. Um, so, yeah, I... Is that one of them? I don't think it's one of them. So I dug down here, and uh, basically I hid myself in this little cavern thing uh, nearby his base. Can I mine through here? I can't break through here. It's already pro property of a faction. Dot slash F plot info. Fallen army with zero strength. F overclaim? Can I do that? I mean, they don't have any strength, so I should be able to overclaim it. Hi. Uh, so, can I just do dot slash F claim? Overclaiming is disabled, even though they don't have any strength. Huh. Okay, uh, I will figure out a way I can maybe get into this, because this is not supposed to happen. Alright, so I was actually able to mine in through the side here, uh, because for whatever reason this part's not overclaimed, or not claimed at all, so, you know, cool for that. But let's go ahead and throw out this stuff, since obviously we don't need it. Uh, we need to see, I need to see if I can figure out how I can fix that overclaim thing, because that's not how it should be happening. But let's open these up, see what we got. Not much in this first chest. And is that a chest under it? There's a chest under it, hidden chests. Alright, nothing in that, uh, can I, can't break that, so I have to just hit it perfectly. Oh. I don't know how I'm supposed to open these. Dumb dumb Minecraft mechanics. This is gonna be hard. Okay, let's let's try. We can we can do this. Okay, nothing in that one. That is a different chest. Yeah, that's different. And how about in here? Can we can we get into it? I don't know why we can't open that. We should be able to, but. I suppose it's broken. Weird. Okay, well, it looks like this raid is a bust, sadly. Uh, it's just apprentice kit and weekly kit. And, I mean, we've got all the kits up to... Well, we've got a lot of kits, basically. So now let's go to the other one. And this one I haven't even checked out yet. Uh, I'm above his base. His base is, like, somewhere in the ocean. 
um, around here. I think if I'm right, it was like near right in front of me. It was like right, I don't know what happened to my texture pack, but it was like right around here. So I'm going to go ahead and dig down right here. And hopefully we can get to a spot before we start drowning, because I do not want to drown. <clears throat> There we go. Alright, it's really dark, but we were able to do it. I should probably do slash fly here, so that I don't accidentally like fall to my death. There we go. And let's just dig down as far as we can. Because uh, I'm pretty sure his base was right around here. I may not be spot on, but it's got to be somewhere around here. So if I don't get it just by digging down here, I'll look around a bit, see if I can find it. Oh no, I dug straight into it. Here we go. So this is the other base that I found, and this one looks much more promising. This one seems like an actual base, and the guy that owns it uh, looks like he's probably a little rich. Or maybe not rich, but at least at least well off, considering the fact that he's got like his own farm and everything. Actually, I think he has two farms. Because I was lagging when I got into this chunk, which makes me think there's probably entities. And there's also, you know, all these hoppers. So open this up. Cow farm? Does he have a cow farm? I think he does, because that's leather and beef. 49, 24, so still... I think there is. Hopefully he doesn't mind these every time he gets off. Hopefully. Let's grab all these hoppers. And we are now on fire. Nice. Okay, there we go, six. Uh, let's get into this water. Alright, so... Let's break this... Uh, so we need to, is there a way that we could potentially harvest these seeds? Yes, we can. Okay. So we could create our own melon farm with this, uh, with the stuff that we get from this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest all these, as best as I can at least. See if I can actually hit any of them. No, I can't. Okay, great. There we go. Did we get all of them? Nope, there's still these. Okay. <sighs> Let's... Get all those. Is that all of them? Nope, there's one right here. It's kind of hard to get these, they're really small. Uh, but it looks like he's got probably two stacks of seeds here. Uh, which is pretty nice, if I do say so myself. Because, uh... I'll be able to make a pretty good farm with this. Alright, got all the seeds there. But yeah, I'll probably be able to make a farm that makes me, uh, I'd say maybe a few thousand, uh, I guess, full growth. But, I mean, I don't know exactly, I don't remember how much uh, melons actually sell for. I just know that, you know, they are a viable way of making money. I don't know what that mine's for. I don't know if that's just like a normal mine or something, but if it is... Should probably be blocking that up because people could very well mine to his base. I mean, granted, I've already I, I, I'm gonna raid him, so. But this is actually a really cool idea because the um, stuff that he mines will go into this water. Like, this is a really cool idea. Like, props to this guy for making like one of the coolest bases I've seen in a while because this has got some pretty high tech, at least for Minecraft, uh, pocket edition mechanics. But, uh, sadly we're gonna, well not sadly, sadly for him, we're gonna be taking all of it anyways. So, let's break through all this, there we go. And, see if we can dodge these, no I cannot, I was gonna try to dodge the box, but I accidentally picked them up anyways. So does he have a chest room? I think he does. I think he does. Yeah, right in here, he has chests. Random, random kits. Nothing much good in here, but this is uh, diamond, so I'll take that. More random, some more diamond. I'll take the good diamond. Uh, what's this? Just a monthly kit, but it's pretty much broken, so I'm not going to take that. Uh, good. Good. Eh, it's really low, so I'm not going to take that. <clears throat> and any more diamond in here? It does not look like it. The royal stuff. So apparently they share a space. And this guy has some pretty valuable stuff. If I say so, if I do say so myself. He's got some uh, ender pearls, more seeds for us, obsidian, and TNT. 
Alright, so what's in this chest? Uh, not much. Alright, so we do have a PV, I believe, right? Slash P... Slash PV? Uh, let's do slash PV2. No? Is it slash Vault 2, then? Vault 2? Okay, have it in your chest. I swear we have some sort of vault, but... Okay. Well then, uh, let me reset my home here. Dot slash set home R, and then we'll do dot slash home SP. And let's go ahead... Uh, is it home home, then? I think it might be home home. Yeah, there we go. And let's put all this stuff away. I'm not gonna organize it for now, it's just gonna be... Uh, I don't know why I accidentally took that. But I need to put that back. <clears throat> but yeah, after this, let's see if we can go back and uh, get those um, spawners. If they're still there. I'm not sure if they're still there. But it's pretty likely, considering that he still had the hoppers. And if he took down the spawners, he'd probably take down the hoppers too. But Homar, uh, let's throw out this pickaxe. We don't need it. And up here somewhere is going to be where we find the spawner. So let's do this. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, nice. So there is one spawner here. I don't want to mine it just yet, though, because we do need a silk touch pickaxe. So let me do slash shop, see if there's a way I can get a silk touch. Well, at least I think we need a silk touch pickaxe. Do I need to do normal slash shop? No dot. I think I do. Slash shop. Okay, there we go. Um, miscellaneous? Nope. Okay. Then in that case, it's probably under tools. No? Alright, um... Let me figure something out. I'll be right back. All right, so I I really don't know what I can do. This is probably the best I'll be able to do. I, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to get Silk Touch. It's not on the Slash Shop from what I was able to see. So we're just going to have to mine this and hope for the best. But before we do that, we need to... No, 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 no. Can we not die, please? Thank you. Don't know why it wouldn't let me fly before, but... Yeah, let's get ourselves some stone here. And we're gonna cover up this hole, because we do not want it flowing into the lava. Definitely not. Okay. So let's put one here, one here. Here. Here, and here. There we go. Nice. So now it hopefully should not despawn... Or, I mean, not despawn, um, get burned. So let's mine this, and there we go. We got the cow spawner. Wait, where'd it go? Where, where, where'd it go? Okay, I don't know why I wasn't able to see that, but there we go, cow spawner. Nice, cool, good, awesome. So, let's go ahead and do dot slash home, home, and we'll go ahead and put this in our base. So that was definitely a very, very good raid. Especially for my first raid, that is. Um, because we got a spawner, we got TNT, obsidian, pearls. I don't know how much pearls are worth, but I don't have any pearls. At least not as far as I know. And enough stuff to start creating our own cow farm or um, melon farm. But yeah. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Sorry again that it was a little bit late. Uh, just... It was hard to find raids. And uh, yeah, guys, peace. Okay.